In this circuit, we have two independent motor starters being controlled by two separate start-stop circuits. We are told that we need to modify the circuit so that the second motor starter, M2, does not start unless M1 is already on, and that the start-stop circuits for M2 should stay the same, so that we could stop M2 without stopping M1. However, if we stop M1, both motors should stop. We can easily accomplish this by knowing that at this point, the circuit provides information with memory that M1 is running. So, if we connect our first line of our M2 starter circuit line 3 to this point, we would get available power for M2 only if M1 is on. Remember, because the sealed contacts M1 are providing power. So, in this diagram, we could start M2 by pressing its start push button at any time after M1 is on. For more PLC training, go to bid95.com and click on the electrical video library on the left-hand side.